What ho? If you've been using Click Team Fusion 2.5 for a while, you may have noticed the Always and Never conditions available from the Special category. These options are often misunderstood, and to begin with, I didn't know how they worked either. Firstly, they've been positioned together as though they have something to do with each other, but they actually don't. They do two unrelated things, so let's go through each one in turn. ALWAYS! Okay, so first I'm going to show what always does, and it's uh, it's kind of dirt simple, it's not that obvious from how it's phrased, but we'll, uh, we'll do this. I'll make a teeny counter called, uh, just counter, I guess. Let's make it big, beautiful, nice large, resized, irregular pixels, that's what everyone likes. Make the art department cry. And uh, so, you go into the events here, let's go into the, uh, well, the event list editor. So you right click for new condition, and like I said, in special, you've got always and never. So always is kind of really simple, it just triggers every program cycle. That's what it really does. This is where the kind of common sense phrasing, I think, lets us down a bit, but it just happens every cycle. So if I make it so that we add to counter one, it will add to the counter all the time. And there you go, and it's going up, and it's going up every program cycle. And uh, how often do program cycles happen? I'll show that in a second, because when I first found this in Click and Play back in the day, I was thinking, like, if it's always happening, how fast is it going? Is it going infinitely fast? How often isn't always? Uh, and the answer is really, it has a frame rate it goes by. Uh, there we go, here we go. So frame rate, I tend to have it at 60. That seems to be what it defaults to, at least for me. So that will at least try to do it 60 times a second. And Click Team Fusion is based around games, so it tends to be kind of frame rate-ish. And, and that's pretty much all there is to it. It's almost like a conditionless condition, right? It's it's so close to not being a condition at all because it there is never a time it doesn't trigger. So there you go. And you can water it down with, with always and random something else, but that's then it's you're kind of wasting the always. Um, normally as well, if I'm doing something to a particular object, I like to check if there's more than one of that, more than zero of that object, which has sort of the same effect as the always in practice, but it kind of just prepares you for what's in the, the event, so whatever, it's a bit of a different way than works just as well. And that's pretty much it, really. It, it's kind of dirt simple. Let's take a look at Never. Never! Woo! Um, right, so I'm back in the same demo. We're going to look at Never. I've still got the same counter. And uh, I'm going to be a bit of a tease and, and show a misunderstanding I've seen as well. So if I say something like always add one to counter, we see that it, it counts up every program cycle. But if I also say never add one to counter, just the way it's phrased, it sounds like you're saying, oh, if, you, if you're being told to do this, don't do it. But no, that, that's not what happens. It continues to add one to the counter. It isn't some denial of doing certain things. So that when you add one to the counter, it's not checking, oh, have I been told never to do this? And that's not what never does. And I, I did not know what this did for ages. So what it really does is I can add a never in here. So let's do this in here. So if I add a new condition and add a never, that makes it go red as well, and it doesn't happen anymore. So this is kind of like commenting out your code in a, you know, a real programming language, or just disabling a line, because there is also a function in here to inactive all lines, and that will also make it inactive, even if I have it not nevered out, that also will disable it. So it's kind of a separate way of disabling. I've seen some people grumble that now that we can disable individual lines, never is kind of redundant. I still like never because there's a, you can group, you can just, let's add to the counter twice or something, because you can just block, disable a bunch of lines, and you can have never as kind of a separate kind of disabling, right? So even if I enable both these lines on that level, this second line is going to stay nevered out. So I call this nevering out them. I guess, and li lines become nivered out, and uh, they won't happen. 
Uh, and you can use this to kind of disable. If you've got one line that triggers a big routine, you can disable that with a never. Or uh, something I like having is, uh, let's say, let's say you're, you're testing something with your debug tools early on. So you're just testing whether it recognizes pressing the space bar. And it says, wow, you pressed the space bar. Wow, amazing. And this happens constantly, right? I have, when I'm working on something new, I have my debug output say what I'm doing. And it, pretty soon you'll be used to, okay, great, this program knows when I press the space bar. So to stop it sending that, you can just never out the condition. And it also means that you can put the condition back in easily. Like if you want, if it turns out it doesn't work again, or you want to make sure of something, you can delete the never. So let's just do it with the never in. Boop, 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 nothing happens. And if I take the never away again, then it will start working again. So I have a whole bunch of debug output in my game that's nevered out and could be brought out again if I want to test something in detail. And again, that, that's kind of it. That's just never, it's pretty simple, really. You just never out individual lines and they won't run anymore, which has a couple of uses. Do you have a game you've always wanted to make but don't know how to get started? My coaching program is designed to help you finish your first game in Click Team Fusion 2.5. Click the link in the description to learn more, and let's get you on the path to being the game developer you've always wanted to be.